Hey everybody, I'm Paul. And I'm Megan with Dreaming Out Loud RVing. And today, we are super excited to share with you a brand new moonshine find. And don't forget to, bing, <laughs> subscribe. And I would say, Camper Life, I don't think you've tried this one. He's not Camper Life anymore. Okay, never mind. Small Space Living. Okay, <laughs> Small Space Living, I don't think you've tried this one. No, it might be too smooth for him. But super cool that it started by Danielle Parton, who is the niece of Dolly Parton. So not only was Danielle a veteran, she was a combat veteran, and she was a pilot. She was in the Air National Guard as a pilot. In 2012, Danielle became an aircraft commander and has operated the C-130 and the C-5 aircraft around the world in combat. And that's no small task. Super impressive. Very impressive. So as a, as a veteran myself, we like to do our best to support uh, veteran businesses and that type of thing. So we had to go check this place out. <laughs> Made us super excited to go and check it out. Um, it is really cool that they also support veterans, so they give discounts, which is always nice, like a yes, discount. They do. They give a veteran discount. Um, and we're a local Tennessee resident, so they also give a Tennessee a local discount, too, which we thought was pretty cool. And they have a... a Local like, uh, specials on Tuesday yeah. and Wednesday night. They have little cocktails there that they make um, that are specific to their uh, moonshine. And um, you get a discount on <laughs> the cocktails. So speaking of which, so they have a little menu um, of cocktails they make with their moonshine. And we did sample, did sample <laughs> a couple of them. Um, I had the Shinerita. Yeah, um, I enjoyed the coconut moonshine. So. I had my drink with the coconut moonshine. It was good. And honestly, I can't remember. I ordered one. It has, they have a vodka, um, which I, I have, if you're a vodka lover, love you, but I'm not. <laughs> um, this is the first one that I've ever sipped in my life that I could sip it straight and enjoy it. Yeah. Any other vodka, I, I have to put so much fruit juice in it just to tolerate it that if not, I'll gag. So. Yeah. Her, her shine was very good. It, it, it didn't was. burn. It was smooth. had great flavor. It's probably the best moonshine we've tasted. And we've been in Gatlinburg, all over the place, Pigeon Forge, and all the uh, distilleries. And this has got to be the best. What you'll find and what you'll learn when you're in there is everything is botanical based. So it doesn't have like a syrupy sweet. It does not have a burn. It is, um, I think most of hers are like a 50% proof if i remember right other than the she has a rum and a vodka i can't remember what the proof was um 70 or 80 maybe but right. but um but the moonshines themselves um there was a rosé there was a red velvet there was a lavender which was amazing yeah. in my opinion somebody brought a bottle of that home maybe so and yeah. it's pretty purple so how awesome is that um and then they had the rum in the vodka the rum i will say i was not as excited about yeah if they had that one first it would have made the other ones would take in the taste out of your mouth so it was a little bit better but instead right. we ordered a cocktail so it was okay <laughs> um it's a little bit off the beaten path it's on it's 411 south i believe mm -hmm. right so yeah. we we went in on old knoxville highway there's several ways you can get in uh twisty turning back roads Right, but not hard to find. I mean, if you're if you're coming right off kind of the main drag in, in Sevierville, um, it it wasn't hard to find at mm. all. If you, if you GPS it, it'll it'll take you. To it'll that. take you straight there. Um, but a beautiful building. When you pull up, there's nice parking. Um, it's just a nice old, almost like log cabin look. So it's really homey right when you pull up. There's yep. a beautiful outdoor sitting area. If it's yeah, a nice it's day. really nice outside. I think that was what I, another thing, other than the moonshine, I was really impressed by. It's just really the attention to detail, just the beautiful little details, and just the military flags. They, she had everybody represented right out there, right out front, um, very proud, and I, I love that. Um, but inside, in the like the architecture, you'll find. And I don't think our camera really did justice. It has these beautiful like copper accents everywhere that um, are just give it a warmth and it's it's just yeah. beautiful, beautiful to look at. Yeah, it's very cool. The architecture is very nice. So, you know, when you enter the distillery, um, it's very bright, very open. 
and you can see they got a large bar uh, that you can belly up to and taste moonshine and or have have moonshine and have a drink they have booths available and plenty of seating uh, they have a nice fireplace yeah so, big huge like l-shaped seating um, but anyway the in the interior of this business this distiller is beautiful you can see where they um actually produce it um is this place it just opened in march so it hasn't been open long at all yep, it's brand new mm -hmm brand new so it's kind of nice like right now it's almost like a hidden gem we went in there there's one other couple yeah um very laid back very nice and the girl that was working when we went in was very knowledgeable mm -hmm. very easy to talk to yeah biggest thing for me though really the takeaway for me was that if you've been to the, some of the other moonshine places a lot of it is you can get a few fruity flavors a few that are kind of sweet and tolerable a few that will really burn and um this one was interesting that each time she would pour um we tried the vodka first first vodka i've ever been able to sip straight and enjoy um i think the rosé was next it's like each time you took a sip of one you liked it better or just as much where normally there's two maybe out of the bunch that so i'm like mm, i think i might would buy that this one i, I couldn't decide they were all good except yeah. the rum i the will rum, say i'm not a fan of rum anyway so although well, if i mixed it with something yeah. like a rum and coke maybe it wouldn't maybe it'd be just fine that way but this is the first one where it was hard to decide yeah. so this was just a quick little video uh displaying Daniel Parton's uh, Moonshine. It's called Shine Girl. Um, so if you're in the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area, Sevierville, or Knoxville, anywhere, look it up. If you enjoy moonshine and you want something new and fresh and smooth, Shine Girl Moonshine is your place. Absolutely. I would totally encourage it. Um, it's a beautiful stop. They're super friendly. Support your veterans and um, best moonshine and I've had so far. Check her out on the moonshiners. Yes, yep. on the moonshiners. Also, I believe they're on Instagram and Facebook, and we will maybe we can put those links below. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the links and put them below in the description. So. And I'm quite sure we'll be back. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be back. So we just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks to all of our subscribers, we appreciate you so much for hanging out. The next video. We hope you're trading the everyday for a better day.